app inventor just open ai2.appinventor.mit.edu you need to sign in for this first you will get this screen kind of just continue to your front screen you will also see all the components on your screen in this component size uh, component bar this is your viewer and here is user interface list you can pick from let's drop a text box here and from there in properties you can change different properties of this text bar I am first going to change the font size and I'm just giving a size of 18 height and will be automatic and width will be fill parent it means it will take all the screen of the width I'm saying STM32 home automation you can see this here just make it bold and let's try to center this and see where we can align this text here is a property of text align just make it center and your text will be centered let's take a horizontal arrangement here and from the user interface try to place a button and again try to place a button as you can see these two buttons are horizontally aligned next to each other if you select the horizontal arrangement from here and change the fill parent property of the width it will take the full screen but if you come select horizontal arrangement here and uh, in the properties dialog box if you align horizontal to center these two buttons will be centerly aligned like this you can change the button properties from uh, the to make it rounded shape you can change the shape here like this and your buttons will be like this if you want to change the text of the button you can change from the text properties let's click Uh, uh, you can place some text of your choice here I am just going to say uh, load one is equal to off as this button will send the command to switch off the second relay and this button will on the load like this If you want both of buttons to take equal space just fill parent the width of both buttons and both buttons will take equally distributed you will be needing uh, you may need two more buttons for connecting and disconnecting the Bluetooth device so uh, you need to add two more buttons just like uh, you did before and uh, you may want to place this uh, on top of everything and add two buttons for uh, connecting and disconnecting the both buttons and uh, make a fill parent and uh, with, with fill parent and for the layout uh, do with fill parent as well and uh, for the buttons you may want to change the color for the buttons and uh, all you have to do is to change the text as well and uh, make the text 
connect and disconnect just like this and uh, mm, you may want to text color a uh, white or let's say yellow and on the black uh, let's try yellow as well and uh, this connect like this or anything you like and now you have a connect and disconnect buttons as well well the next thing is to add a connectivity you need to add a bluetooth client like this and uh, when you add it will not appear on the screen but at the bottom of the screen like this bluetooth client one um, by default the disconnect button should be disabled because uh, you need to connect this button uh, first and uh, now let's make all these buttons uh, disabled as well by selecting the button and uh, unchecking the enabled button box like this and uh, this will make everything like this okay so uh, when you press the click uh, let's add first over click event listener whenever you press a connect button and uh, with a successful connection uh, you need to switch the uh, but enable property of connect and disconnect button the connect button is button 9 and button 10 is a disconnect button let's switch to the block menu and select a 9 and you will see all the events related to button 9 and this is a, a button 9 and for the button 10 select a click event for button 10 as well like this so first of all what we are going to do is just changing the property of button 10 from enable to disable and select the button 10 as well and scroll down here and here you will see uh like this button 10 is enabled and uh, set button 10 like this enabled is equal to a uh, true from the logic block let's add a true value here and now when you click button 9 button 10 will be enabled and you can just uh, uh, copy this in button 10 as well and here you need to make it false and if you add one more copy by pressing ctrl v and to copy ctrl c and from here just change button 9 and uh, what will happen when you click on button 10 button 9 will be enabled and button 10 will be disabled and uh, you can make uh, add a copy here as well and uh, just change uh, button 9 uh, from here and button 9 will be um, disabled and button 10 will be enabled uh, these are two click events for button 9 and button 10 uh, for connect and disconnect property but you also need to add a bluetooth client and uh, what you need to do is that you want to connect so you have two options here that are uh, either call uh, for a bluetooth client connect address and uh, uh, you can also disconnect by just bluetooth client dot disconnect function so add this to uh, your bluetooth uh, button 10 but click event listener like this and uh, come back here in bluetooth client and try to find out uh, uh, the connect uh, function as well let's see what we have uh, okay uh, we have uh, this uh, send byte number function as well we may be use uh, and uh, send text uh, function as well we may be using the send text function uh, but we need to um, find out uh, uh, connect and disconnect as well okay so we also can check if it is connected or as well or not and uh, we can add this in an if statement like from uh, uh, the procedures and variables uh, dictionaries lists text math and logic 
and control here in control we have an if statement and uh, if it is uh, bluetooth one is connected we will be disconnecting this right and uh, same thing will be applicable for connecting it must be disconnected before we connect uh, let's press a delete button to delete unwanted and if you right click on any uh, thing you can duplicate that and uh, let's add it here and is connected if it is connected and let's say that uh, is available right okay if bluetooth client one is available we need to connect first what is a connect function uh, okay we have uh, this function to connect and we must need to pass on this to something when bluetooth one dot error whenever a bluetooth will facing any error and uh, bytes available to receive we are not going to receive uh, anything or we want to receive anything we will see it later but let's first find out uh, how to connect it means we need an address of our bluetooth module first so we can just delete this from here and add this here like this and uh, here we need to provide the address we can do this uh, uh, manually or from here we can add this address like this or I think we need to let user pick the addresses so let's switch to designer mode and um, uh, I think uh, let a list picker here and text for list picker I think we need to add uh, something in the list picker <clears throat> and uh, for the width let's out where the list picker is oh yeah before picking we have a before picking here to insert the items okay we have list picker elements option here uh, can we insert it here like this okay we need uh, something here as well so now do we have our Bluetooth options right here yep so like this cool on the designer view and once I give I turn on my Bluetooth and the and I click on the text view I will see all the uh, components that are connect pair devices of my Bluetooth, Bluetooth all pair all Bluetooth pair devices in my mobile phone and if I select the HC05 it will try to connect you to the HC05 via Bluetooth uh, something again change the text for this and uh, let's make it uh, select your device and it will appear here 
and the blocks and uh, see what options do we have for the vertical arrangement in musical options here as well right okay 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 yep we can set vertical arrangement visible to true yep we can do that and if we duplicate duplicate this and add it here when we disconnect we need to false and by default it should be invisible let's see if we have this option in our vertical arrangement properties we don't have this option yep we have this option like this so now over uh, app will look like this and when we press the connect button and if the connection is will be successful the buttons will be appeared okay so we can just um, let's make it visible and enable all buttons first of all let's enable all buttons select the vertical arrangement and make it visible we think that we left is uh, just the click events for every button like we had done this and in vertical arrangement button one dot click and just duplicate this and uh, button two uh, press ok select button two and now the error will be gone because you cannot create uh, two click events for the same object you cannot duplicate these things and now what to do in this all you have to do is to send a text to your connected device for which you can use send text option like this and from the text you can select a constant value of the text like this and just add the text what text do we need is r1 on and comma because we need to send five bytes remember we need to send the five bytes one two three four five cool let's duplicate this again and put this here and uh, just replace the on and comma with the off now we have our thing one last thing that we can add is that we know that we had uh, a response from our bluetooth we can read uh, try to read that response from the bluetooth and to read that response we need some text box um, and as uh, this is a text box let's place it here and uh, okay let's dis disconnect this text box uh, not here let's uh, delete this text box if we can just delete it here and uh, make this vertical ar arrangement visible and uh, just to make sure that our text box is just appearing right next to this and uh, height uh, fill parent okay and width uh, fill parent and okay so now our text will be filled automatically and let's just disable this text box uh, so that user uh, will not be able to enter the text and make it multi-lined uh, multi and uh, uh, 
uh, do not check the numbers only and uh, let's make it read only as well okay so text will be uh, here and like this and like this and like this um, so we will be needing one more button before this uh, and uh, this button will take the whole screen it means it will fill up the height and width what this button is doing is just it will uh, clear the screen uh, sorry it is not going to take the height it will height will be automatic and uh, text will be clear text box okay and uh, uh, what's left is that just uh, select your vertical al alignment and make it disable as well so now uh, switch to the blocks and uh, uh, you have one more button and uh, that button is what is that button Switched to the designer and you are not uh, viewing the button okay so we have this button in our vertical arrangement uh, so let's uh, make this uh, vertical arrangement visible and uh, try to take out this button and uh, make this vertical arrangement uh, invisible as well so you can have this clear text button always now let's have this button click uh, event and once we have this click event just uh, pick your text box which is here and uh, we need to set the text um, yeah like this and uh, pass on an empty string so that all the text will be equal to empty um, like this now we need to uh, read the Bluetooth let's see what options do we have to read the data from the bluetooth device we should use a clock yep and uh, time interval is one second uh, 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 oh. okay mm. let's read after every second if we have something to read from the bluetooth and uh, timer always fires and timer is enabled cool so let's move to the blocks here and uh, see what functions do we have in our timer timer dot timer when this uh, this fun event will be called whenever the timer will fire up and we need to check here if the bytes uh, available to eat uh, okay uh, so this property will give a number so it is not able to connect to the uh, if statement so we need to convert it to a logic statement so what uh, we can place here and we can add uh, here and uh, we can check uh, equal to not equal to no let's 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 undo and we need to check greater than uh, and 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 okay let's place this here and let's first confirm that device is connected right so let's see do we have a duplicate of this code or not yep we have it here let's bring it down hold down and somewhere this 
and the next thing we need uh, is to check what would we have uh, equal to not equal to but if we need to check if two variables are greater than or less than yep this is available in it should be available in numbers because we are comparing yep we have it here so greater than and equal to uh, place it here place it here and uh, A variable or a constant yep like this so if our received bytes available is greater than or equal to uh, no just greater than not equal to zero if bytes available is greater than zero then we are going to read the bytes yep so how to read the byte is to set uh, text box that is for reading it is this and we need to set the text and uh, as we use to clear the text and text box dot uh, set text box dot text and let's see um, what options else we have background enable font multi-line numbers text color okay if we want to add two text let's append try to join like this and uh, read the text box <clears throat> yep, this one and uh, now the Bluetooth one and do we have a read bytes option yep like I think like this and in here if we duplicate this we can put this number here so I think it should work let's find out to find out we need to upload this code again in our AI companion and the reset connection uh, we are having an issue we are getting this error error from command companion invoke no method name read only in class google dot environment component runtime dot text no method name read only okay we have this option let's try to delete this and uh, set a constant string put into the text box first and let's add a text box 2 dot uh, um, anything we can change it later and uh, text to a uh, text a constant text let's add it here and say text slash n slash r for a new line like this and done let's refresh the companion we are having this again okay so in the designer come to the text box tool and just uh, remove this one right and switch to again and refresh the connection and see do we still get the error or not uh, yep I think we are not getting the error this time 
so we can proceed and uh, join this text add this text here and we can just read bytes read text bytes right here like this let's make it this and number of bytes duplicate read it here get a text box to and the text uh, we can change this here text cool let's delete it and uh, refresh companion yep uh, this is working at uh, this time and uh, you can build write QR code for the APK or save the APK to computer uh, we can uh, download this APK uh, for later use or we can scan the QR code and install the APK in our mobile phone so I'm providing this li link to this application in uh, description so find out this link and download uh, just disconnect the companion and forget everything that's all for now